Welcome into Hitting Hard with John Chuckery here in Locked On Sports Atlanta. Today on the show, I feel bad for Arthur Smith. How's this for a hot streak? And Sunday feels different. It feels more important. We'll talk about all that next. Hitting Hard with John Chuckery, Locked On Sports Atlanta. This is Hitting Hard with John Chuckery, part of Locked On Sports Atlanta. And it starts now. We welcome you into this Wednesday edition of Hitting Hard with John Chuck. We're here on Locked on Sports Atlanta with the first place Atlanta Braves. Anyway, head to YouTube.com, put Locked on Sports Atlanta into your search browser. When you get there, hit that subscribe button, leave us a comment. Of course, we are free and available on all of your favorite podcast platforms, including Spotify and Odyssey. Download us for free today. Leave us a five-star review. And of course, give me a follow on my personal Twitter page. That would be at JMCH316. You know, in some ways, I feel bad for Arthur Smith. And I was listening to his press conference on Monday as we get ready for game week here, right? And Monday was a holiday and it was Labor Day. The Falcons did some work. And then obviously the Falcons had yesterday off as the regular off day in the NFL. And they'll get back at it today and get game plan and game prep in for Sunday. We'll talk about that a little bit later on in the show. But why do I feel bad for Arthur Smith? So one of the things that I enjoyed most about training camp this year is the chance to kind of network and finally get some names and faces with people that I've talked to online or talked to on social media and just stuff like that, right? You finally get to actually put some faces, you know, with the names and all that kind of stuff and get to actually meet the human being of it and shake their hand and meet them all that. And there are a lot of good people that cover the Atlanta Falcons. And I, and I like most of our media by and large. But then there are some in the media that, oh, yeah, 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 how do I say that um, would test my patience as well. And I think you're seeing that with Arthur Smith. Arthur Smith was asked multiple times in multiple ways about one thing he was asked about is, well, how many snaps and reps is uh, Desmond Ritter going to get in practice compared to Marcus Mariota and this, that, and the other? Okay. And then he was asked by another reporter about, well, um, how many games do you need to see from Desmond Ritter to have an evaluation of him? Okay, all right. Here's the thing, right? This is the NFL, okay? You don't worry about spending a whole bunch of time getting your backup quarterback ready. Yeah, you want to give him some work. He might run with the scout team or the second team or whatever, but you're not spending a lot of time with the guy who isn't the starter getting him ready. I understand Mariota Ritter, but I want to see Ritter play and all this, that, and the other. They're trying to get ready to win a football game on Sunday, and that's getting Marcus Mariota prep. And that was Arthur Smith's comment was, we're talking about these hypotheticals, this fantasy football stuff. Because that's what that is. If you're if you're spending time really prepping Desmond Ritter, then you don't believe in the guy who's your starter. And you might as well start Desmond Ritter at that point. But again, how many games? Okay, Mr. Media Guy, do yourself a favor. Watch my podcast, listen to my radio show, call into my show, and I'll explain all of this to you. You're not going to get any kind of final snapshot on what Desmond Ritter is or is not this season, okay? If you think that that book is going to be written, then you're crazy. I don't care if he plays a game, he plays 10 games, you're not going to have the book written. And he's not going into the season taking the reins and starting for your franchise. It's not where he's at right now. So the idea of how we evaluate Ritter and stuff like that, he'll probably get a chance to play because the guy in front of him has a history of getting hurt. And it'll probably force him into duty. And guess what? When that time comes, they'll spend the majority of their time prepping and getting Desmond Ritter ready. Not worried about is my backup quarterback in the NFL. Like this is not a two quarterback system. 
right, we'll talk more about this in just a second. But first, let me talk about my friends over at Built Bar. You've heard me talk about Built.com, the place to go. Look, you're looking for a different nutritional snack, right? You want something a little bit different than the just same old protein bars, things like that. I want you to head to Built.com, and I want you to try the marshmallow, the protein-infused marshmallow puffs that they have there. And guess what? They've got their new flavor out, cookie dough chunk, okay? Got real cookie dough chunks in it, 100% covered uh, in chocolate. And look, you're talking 160 calories with, with 15 grams of protein in them. Go to Built.com today. Check out their wide menu. They've got all kinds of different protein bars, the, the marshmallow uh, protein puffs and things, all kinds of neat stuff that they've got there right now. But try the new flavor, the cookie dough chunk puffs. And when you go there, here's what I want you to do, okay? Because I got a deal for you. Head to built.com, put that order together, get your protein bars, get your snacks, all different things they have available. Try some of the different things out. And when you get to checkout, use the promo code LOCKEDON15, L-O-C-K-E-D-O-N, the number one, the number five, Locked on 15, and you're going to get 15% off your order <coughs> simply by using the code locked on 15 at checkout. Head to built.com today, check out their wide, extensive menu of products out there, and use that coupon code locked on 15 to get 15% off of your order. But in the NFL, you don't spend time getting your backup quarterback ready, you don't go out planning for the worst. And, and I know. That's hard for some people to wrap their mind around because they think Ritter and Mariota are so close and we want to see Ritter. And I get all that. But in the NFL, you don't spend your valuable time trying to worry about prepping and getting your backup quarterback ready and trying to figure out, well, how many games? Because this is what Arthur Smith brought up was, okay, Mr. Media Guy, give me something to compare it to. Give me something that is a comparison okay the whatever the green bay packers did this to evaluate jordan love give me something to compare it to well i and mr media guy was i don't know i'm asking you i feel bad for arthur smith to have to answer some of these questions of with all due respect okay and i'm saying this with all due respect of all of the things to talk about for this week because this is a really important game. We'll talk about that in a little bit here. But this is a really important game. You know, if this will start to dictate what direction this season goes. And it's got to be better than opening week last year when they got smoked by the Philadelphia Eagles. So, again, of all the things asked about the defense, offensive line, wide receivers, this, that, and the other, right? How do, how do we match? How does our offensive line match up against a team that had 46 sacks last year? How do we match? No, we're talking about how many games to evaluate the backup quarterback. And I understand he's a rookie and people want to see him. But folks, perspective. When it's Desmond Ritter's time to start, that's when the hardcore evaluated. Until then, Mariota's the starter. You got to get him ready, and we got to go in on Sunday. I need the media to call and talk with me. I'll help them get some questions that make more sense to all of this. Anyway, when we get back, how is this for a hot streak? I want to give you what the Braves have done over their last 20 games. It's all next, hitting hard with John Chuckery, Locked on Sports Atlanta.